I like safeties. Freak shit happens. That's that's how people okay. be getting pregnant. All right. No safety. What's the risk? Don't bump my mic. 7 p.m. Friday, 95 degrees. And just look at a comparison of the 22 versus the 9. Like 22 ammo versus scaling it up just a little bit to 9 millimeter. Whew, I'm burning up, bro. That's crazy. It's on that side. Whatever. All right, five more going in. So the thing about 22 ammo you don't get to load a lot into your clip, into your magazine, whatever you want to call it, whatever you feel comfortable with. 10. This is a, you would think you're in a restricted state with the limited amount of 22 ammo you can load into something unless it's like an AR that shoots 22 bullets, for example, and we're going to get into that. So yeah, it's like once you really get into shooting it, the clip is empty, like the mag is done. And you looking like, dang, that's it? Cause 22 ammo is so easy to shoot at, at the same time. You, you really don't know where the time went. So you'll see. Five and five, that's what we're going for. So we're gonna drop the slide and we ready, safety off. Finger on the trigger. Five more. It's really easy to shoot. Like, I don't feel any discomfort. I don't feel awkward. I don't feel like the gun's overpowering me. It's literally like that Goldilocks and the Three Bears type shit. Like, it's got that just right feel. Like, it's got its, what do I call it? It's shortcomings, it's got its hiccups. Sometimes with ammo, 22 ammo can be really finicky. Like. It doesn't get the same quality control that that like stronger, higher caliber bullets get, but I haven't had any failures yet. So I've shot 15 successfully and I experienced at least one bullet like choking up when I shoot my 22. And just for an example, if that happens, maybe we'll catch it. But for some reason, um, so far the Ruger likes the CCI subsonic 22 LR ammo specifically this so if you're thinking about this gun you might want to consider this ammo like it's running pretty well as you can see so when that happens when it chokes up you want to get in the habit like i said maybe you'll catch it in real time and see when it happens and what that's like you want to like smooth like just strong and smooth like pop the bottom rack it eject that nasty one out and then get back on and do what you do because you want to pay attention to how much time you take in between doing stuff as well that actually really matters so let's go in let's do five more shots and see how it goes i need a new battery in my red dot okay that's butter yeah and it's over just like that. Maybe I'll shoot all 10 next time so you can really see how long it takes just for 10 bullets to just like fly by. 
like nine millimeter, I kind of like take a little pause in between, but 22 is like bah, 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 tight. So yeah. I hate that you can't see my charm because it's on the other side of the gun. Like I'm here running my mouth and all you see is this. So I do have another 22. It's my baby. It's my firstborn, if you will. And I'm gonna get that one out just to show you like it doesn't matter. As long as you, you get like a decent 22, you shouldn't have too many issues. Your issues are gonna fall into the ammo category, not necessarily the functionality of the firearm itself. So let's get out my baby and we're gonna do it again. Oh, we in here. All right. All right. So this is also a 22. Oh, we are clear. First things first. This is a 22 as well. It takes 22 ammo and it's stylized like a 1911. So you'll see this in different calibers. It's not just exclusive to a 22. So you can get some nice guns in 22 if that's what you're comfortable with. If you can handle, if you're if you're like quick on your foot and you can handle some of the things that you run into with 22 ammo, there is absolutely nothing wrong with having a 22. So let's run that. I'm gonna put her up. She's done for now. Pack up home, girl. All right, again, you see how the ammo is? Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this one holds a little bit more. My favorite, which is the Ruger Mark IV down there, only holds 10. So you get a little bit more with this. So let's get us a shot, literally. Wow, that's, that's crazy. You saw how I tapped that and it automatically slid? Be careful with shit like that. All right. Oh, I was just checking shit out. <laughs> it's so funny, it's so many, look down here. It's so many 22 bullets hanging down there like mine that just dropped in there. <laughs> That's crazy. We only got 11 shots because I accidentally ejected one. It's gone. I ain't gonna worry about it. 22 ammo is not that expensive. It is not worth going crazy over. So safety off, safety off. You hear that? That's what I'm talking about tap get that out some didn't want to shoot back on all right that was 11 I lost count because I kind of got thrown off with what that one bullet did, but that's empty. That's clear. And that was without a red dot. Like I like, I like to shoot without red dots because everything doesn't have them. Sometimes like my battery is getting low in my red dot, for example, and you don't have time to be trying to find it. Like imagine doing maintenance on your guns all the time, making sure everything's good, batteries, Battery's not weak, battery's not on the way out, like on the brink, you know. You need to be able to know how to shoot with just your sights. You get what I'm saying? Uh, that's something else we can get into at a later time. So, again, 22, ain't none to it. Just do it. 22s are done for now, for now. 22 pistols, we're done. Now we move into full size at nine millimeter. You're working your way up. This is full size, so don't let the size dictate when I say nine millimeter. 
Nine millimeter can come in any size. It can come in micro, macro, compact. Okay. I didn't realize anybody else was here, that's all. Fuck it. Um, as I was saying, you know, it can be little. Any, anyways, it can be big or it can be small. It's up to you, it's what, whatever you wanna hold. So this is a full size. I like full size and we're clear while I'm running my mouth. We're clear, but take a good look, full size gun. I'll say most women will love this too. I'm just being honest, like it's not that big of an adjustment. Trust me, it's a lot stronger shit out there. When you shoot it by bah, and it's got that kick to it, nah, not this. So, I got to stand here in low ammo. So for this, nine mil, I think this is 124 grain, right there, 124. I usually shoot around 115, 124 and I shoot 147 in my gold digger it likes heavier ammo but choosing ammo does matter because sometimes you can think oh my gun is doing this like you'd be crazy you'd be surprised that guns have a diet too like they will let you know when they don't like something and you could very well think it's the gun and that's the other important thing like somebody can recommend ammo to you and not know what you're shooting they just to tell you based on the fact that they like that ammo, but the gun that you have specifically might not like that ammo. You get what I'm saying? So it's important when you get a gun, try out different brands. I would go with something mainstream, something that's easy to get because you don't want something that's hard to access. You gotta pay hella shipping fees to get ammo shipped to you because you are choosing something that's like one off. You know what I'm saying? go with something that you consistently see in the store like pay attention to your brands like this is blazer there's winchester out there there's a few others i could recommend if we really want to get into like a, a ammo video but this is just like a gloss over we glazing this shit right now um and you just got to know what your gun likes so i found out what this gun likes it shoots just fine no failures with this ammo x y and z so that's what i'm gonna keep running in it so for example, this is a, a sister of the CZ brand. It's from Dan West, it's the DWX. And I can say that since it is in the family of CZ, that I can kind of interchangeably use the same ammo and not have any hiccups or any issues. Like I can interchangeably use it in multiple guns in my collection that run nine millimeter caliber. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot enough of that. And well, we gotta load up first. That's crazy. Ain't no bullets in none of them. Like imagine if you needed to pull the gun out to defend yourself. You ain't got nothing loaded. You you blank. You know? All right. I'm gonna go with the red base cause it's pretty but I'm not gonna fully load it. So I'm gonna put these down here for now. I'll deal with that later. Let's get her loaded up. See how much easier it is to hold this heavier ammo, this bigger ammo? Like when you digging for the 22 ammo, you, you literally like using fingernails to like dig it out the tray. With this, you just get around it, get on it, pop it in. Look at that. It's like butter, like you just go for it. So that's 10. We load it up. I don't know if you noticed this, what you do or don't know, but you can tell, like if you're running your mouth like me and you be like, well, damn, I lost count, you can look and see just about how much you've put in there. That's what these numbers are for on the back. So you see 10 is the last one highlighted. That means that there's 10 bullets in the clip. Mag, whatever. I'm not gonna keep correcting myself. Y'all gonna learn when I say clip what I mean. And we load it. We're gonna drop the side. Safety's off. We're gonna drop the side and get ready to shoot. So one thing I noticed, I'm, I'm gonna take, I don't know if we've caught any, any content so far with what I do, 
I have a habit of doing like this. And I think it's just like girly shit that I do. When we take pictures, like we like, you know, we like doing stuff with our head. I could explain it a little bit more if we talk about aiming and shooting and stuff like that. But I say that to say, don't do what I do, you know? You wanna be straight on when you shoot. So, here we go. See how that's got more kick to it? But keep it under control. Get a good grip. Was that five? One more. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Five more. It's fucking hot out here, bro. All right. That's the only thing. Safety. Some people like safeties, other people don't. I like safeties. Freak shit happens. That's that's how people be getting okay. pregnant. All right. No safety. Let's walk up down here. Let's turn on the red light and let's go look at the target really quick and just look at a comparison of the 22 versus the nine. I had something planned out. I brought heels with me and they were not just to sit there for decor, but at this range, well, pretty much anywhere, you're supposed to wear closed toe shoes, but there are places that are more liberated and more free and relaxed with their rules. So we're gonna have to go there to kind of simulate what I was trying to show about 22 ammo. So you might see me dress differently, but it's all with the same message to get the right thing across that you don't need to be worried at all, especially when you're on the right side of it. Just shoot what you like, shoot what feels good. Light on. There goes that bitch. All right, so let's go out to the target and see what we got. So. All right, so this was my first shot. I kind of went like in zigzag form with my shots. So this was my very first. This one is still a nice little group. Like I like to look at it like if I make a fist, that's what I always do. So if you see me making a fist in my video, it's kind of me using it as a point of measure to see how close my shots were for that session or that clip, whatever I shot. And I can pretty much put my fist up and you cannot see. Like these are the farthest two apart that I shot here. And this was with, um, this was with my tan gun, my Colt my 1911 style gun that's with no sights these are with red dots but like i said red dots can put you down when you least expect so you don't need to be fully relying on that and over here again i can pretty much put my fist there and you can you don't see it this is probably that's the one that's off but if you look at this group right here the other four that i shot they're all in the same area. You know what I'm saying? So I think this is pretty damn good. And I'm not saying that just because it's me. I think people tend to be a little critical on themselves and how they shoot. It ain't no point in being hard on yourself like that. If you all over the target, you need to have a little self-control. Let's go back to it. Five more shots on the same target. Let's try not to get any far off ones in the black like we did. But like I said, that's still not bad. It's on the designated target that I intended to shoot. I don't even know if that was my first shot. I wasn't paying attention or I don't know. Because full-size guns in higher calibers can get heavy. So you can fatigue a little bit. So that's that. All right. Safety's off. We're ready. Ugh. Where's that bitch? All right. We're good. All right, Down. that's it. So that's one full size nine millimeter empty. As you can see, you see that red showing in there. I like guns that have color at the end to let you know, you can just take a quick glance and notice your clip is empty. You see that red, you know it's done. 
So we're gonna pack her up and move on to the other nine millimeter. My newest baby. All right, coming out. And on the topic of ammo again, this is 147 grain. The last one we shot was 124 because that's what the DWX likes. But with this one, I bought a collector's edition gun because I really like CZs. So you're not going to see this everywhere because this one was limited. It's not a flex. I'm just saying like I know people see something and they like it and then they expect um, to be able to locate it. So I'm, I'm simply saying that this is like a limited edition. So you'll find it in other colors. The color does not change the performance of this specific pistol. It's a Shadow 2. And because it's special edition, that's why I'm getting ready to explain the ammo that I have. I'm running 147 Syntec ammo. Um, this is because I want to take really good care of this. I plan on having another version of the Shadow at some point in my collection. But since this is my special one, some ammos are really dirty, really, really nasty, all that good stuff. And I, uh, I wanted to keep this one clean. I want to keep it in good shape. I don't want to have to worry about break, taking it down too many times, cleaning it. Like you can run shadows to hell pretty much. And you know how people feel about Glocks? That's how CZ are, CZs are. You can just, you can run them. They're hell, hella built well, hella reliable, that type thing, you know, so. You know, like Hondas and, and, and fucking Toyotas, you can run them in the ground and they still going at like 300,000 miles. That's a, that's a CZ gun. So, like I said, these are pretty. These are hella girly. I know girls are going to like this shit and be like, oh my God, these bullets are so pretty. And listen, they come in other colors. I got to get the red ones. I got to get the blue ones. These are purple. You hear me? These are so freaking cute. Look at these. They're purple bullets. Look at that. Like, if you want to get into it, get into it for the cute-ass ammo. Like, look at that. Shit. So, we're going to load up 10. And fair warning, this ammo is not cheap. This is not defense ammo. This is target practice and training ammo. This one, they make a defense one. Got to get my hands on it. And we'll run this back another time, shooting the different ones. But the training one is not even cheap. So, we're going to... We're going to load up 10 and we're going to shoot it. Look how pretty that is. Look at these. Look at that. Get that B-roll. Yeah. All right. Let's load it up. Like, I feel like this ammo, they knew what they was doing. I've never had a failure out of this ammo in my gun. I have not wasted not a bullet with this because it likes it. Again, see that? 10. See how you don't see nothing else past that? It's kind of harder to see in this one because it's not fully numbered, but it's going by like fives, I think. And the max I can put in here is 19. But... 10. All right, so let's get this show on the road because it's hot out here. And ugh, baby, all right, going in. Look how pretty that looks in there. Look at that. That shit look good in this gold gun. Look at that. That is so pretty. All right, dropping the slide, safety off. We're going for it. The majority of the shots are grouped together. I think that came down to my grip. I've only shot it twice before now. I've only shot it two other times. So I'm still building a relationship with it 
seeing how it feels and adjusting myself according to what it does. You get it? Get what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was talking about grains, heavier grain ammo, this gun handles it better. It's heavier, so you're not gonna have a lot of that as well. That, that's a thing. We don't even need to put a word or a label on it right now, but you know it when you see it. You know it when you feel it. All right, four more shots going down. I'm gonna move over in the target so that I can see the difference. So we're going to the right side. That's five. Oh, I forgot. That's what mine does. When it's empty, my slide doesn't pop open. That's something else I'm still getting used to. This is the only thing. Like, if you a girl's girl, you uh, you gonna you need to take a shower when you get home. You don't leave this shit on your skin. Like, if you a nurse, if you a doctor, you know about contamination and stuff you you go home and you clean yourself i don't even know how long this has been on me i doubt very seriously that it's from that cleaner ammo but it's been there Ugh, this stuff is going in the wash i'm going in the wash head to toe when i get home I, it's hot out here it rained we sat in the car for a little bit all right that's gonna do it here i don't want to give some visuals i want to serve i want i want y'all to eat so i'm gonna get up out of here because i feel like it's only a matter of time for that bitch start thinking I'm a part of this nest. Let's go. So yeah, we going. Don't, don't, don't make me untie my